Today we are going to be talking about um, data science question and answers, and today will be question 1 to 10. So this is the very first uh, uh, series in the machine learning uh, data science question and answer series. And today is the first, the very first question. And actually, I want to actually start from the basics. So you will see a whole lot of theory in this initial questions. And later on, you will actually be doing some serious, uh, some a, a, a few analysis and modeling. And I'll be using a few formula to explain the concept. So the key thing is for you to understand the concepts and be able to explain it with minimal diagram and notations. So we are talking about, in this case, what is the difference between exploratory data analysis and confirmatory data analysis? So let me see if I can uh, start with minimize, minimizing this. So we are talking about CDA, confirmatory data analysis, and the next one is exploratory data analysis. What is the difference between two of them. Already you know that both of them are simply data analysis uh, methods. So let's start with the first one. Uh, CDA, in this case, uh, there is an analysis of data to test the validity of existing hypothesis. So we have, in this case, we have existing, uh, I, sh I should actually be using the color, the right color, all right, so in this case, we have existing hypotheses. <clears throat> and in case of exploratory data analysis, we have, uh, we are not testing any existing hypothesis. All right, so, or theory as well, or it could be a theory. <clears throat> So in case of exploratory data analysis, we aim to generate new knowledge by analyzing data sites and attempting to find trends within the observation. So in this case, in case of exploratory data analysis, we are trying to generate <coughs> new knowledge. So take note that we are talking about data science here. <coughs> And in data science, it simply has to do with making science out of data. You have data, and you want to make some science out of data. Now, in case of exploratory data analysis, you have your data, you've gathered your data, and you are trying to make some science out of data. What is the relationship between this category and this category? Or what is the trend that is found in this data? But in case of confirmatory data analysis, we are trying to simply confirm uh, test an existing hypothesis. So that is the difference. And in this case, you might, in case of confirmatory, <coughs> I'm going to use another pen. You may hear of something like H0 in the, in the trivial uh, hypothesis testing, and you have H1. So this is called existing hypothesis. So in the simplified way, we have H0 to be existing hypothesis and H1 or HA will be alternative. All right, so this is a trivial explanation of the difference between confirmatory data analysis and uh, exploratory data analysis. In the next question, we are now going to continue by discussing uh, what happens in different phases of data analysis. And let's, before I forget, I'd like to mention that you can actually read up uh, more about these differences in this uh, write-up. I actually wrote all the details in this in this place. So you can actually read it up. All right, so I'm going to stop here and also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel uh, if you've not subscribed. And we'll see you in the next question.